What does the fox say? What does the fox say? What does the fox say? Okay, it says that was the uniqueness in one of the tombs. Look at the engravings. Okay, it doesn't have engravings, so maybe it's not that unique. That's unique, because all of them are engraved. This one is not. Yuri is trying to pronounce an <laughs> Indian temple name. This one. So? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think, yeah. Kshatriya Shimya Shim Shira Nazdravya. I'm not sure the difference is like S or S. So it's from? The others are right there. 700 BC. 700 BC? Yeah. How come? Well, it's old. It's called Shore Temple. It's because it's by the shore. It is like who building? No, not BC. Building 780. So it's not at all. This BC. So it's like 1,300 years old. Let's go home. Yeah, just it's not that old. It's from granite. So today we are at the short temple at Mahabalipuram. What Tamil people call it is Mamalapuram. It's a very interesting place actually. It's like um, 1300 years old or so from the 8th century AD. Uh, it's very important for them. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I'm gonna show it to you now. It's just behind me now, as you can. Uh, it's a very important place for, for Hindus. We are here with locals. Say hi to the camera. Say hi, hi, hi Turkey. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let's take our own stuff. <laughs> They're super friendly. No, they just come like uh, they want to know why we are here, why we are interested in their culture. And the, the mathematics teacher uh, brought the whole whole class, and they were interested why we like their culture, why we are here, and all. It's very interesting. Like the, they want your opinion. Like what they want, they want to know what you think of them. It's it's fascinating. It's very interesting. I think.
buy because we have one at home, which is huge. But <laughs> yeah, we didn't. But do is, this. It, is it possible Frank. to take them out of the country? Isn't it forbidden? No, I don't think anything is forbidden. Look at this. Show you how to check the uh, petrol, petrol level, level. Uh, of the rickshaw, auto rickshaw, because you cannot see anything here. There's nothing to see. And there's no gauge. There's no speedo. I mean, there's a speedometer, but it doesn't, it doesn't really work. So come here. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> it was okay. Yeah. So we need to put it in. See how much we consumed since yesterday. Because it was full yesterday. We have like two liters, two and a half. Two and a half, and how much? And we had seven, no? Yeah. So we didn't like. Uh, 50 kilometers, we used 5 liters. Am I right? Yeah, it's like 2.5. It's exactly. 3.5 or 2.5? 2.5, half. Half because I put a little bit more than I was supposed to. Okay. So 2.5, which means we need to put like 4 liters more. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So yeah. That's so, we it so we used 5 liters in 50 kilometers? Yeah. Much. And we need uh, oil. And oil as well. We need to oil. Remember, not only today, but yes, uh, tomorrow, uh, yesterday as well. We drove a lot, so yeah. maybe 70 kilometers or all. Okay, let's say 70 kilometers. Five. Minutes. That's quite okay. No, sir, that's very nice. No. Where I are you that. from? That's where, I, where am I from? Uh, this one? Uh. Yeah, it's a rally. <laughs> <laughs> 
a race. Uh, yeah, they have friends as well, like colorful rickshaws. Yeah. Okay, we wanna okay. thank you now. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. So we won't get four liters, only two liters. Okay. It's life. One hundred sixty, one hundred ninety. You paid. One hundred ninety. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Bye bye. I will. I paid two hundred. Okay, we are at the Dutch Fortress now. We need to figure out. Yeah, it's okay. It's a nice place, actually. I mean, it is. It has history, I know. Hello. So we're in the Dutch Fortress in Sadras. We need to find out. It's our first challenge. I mean, besides driving in India, we need to find out who, what's the uniqueness in one of the tombs. Let's figure it out. Okay, there are some tombs that we cannot really go in, so. Uh -huh. Hope it's not the tomb that you're looking for. Uniqueness. Wow, one of them looks like a table. For one thing. Can I take a photo? Okay, basically there is, all of them are decorated, but there is one which is not. Which is empty. Which one? There's no decoration. You see, all of them have this. Yeah, that emblems. one. That one doesn't have anything. But this one doesn't have anything. That so one. Maybe this is the answer. I found it out. Or there is one which looks like a table over there. Which one? Like, see, they all have the. Uh, how do you say it? A cube uh, shape. And yeah, engravings and engravings and all like maybe the inscriptions and engravings. Table. Maybe they were sacrificing humans there. <laughs> It's a Dutch fortress. Why would yeah. they? Why not? No. no I'm pretty sure. Just an, but the, but the, it has double. It the, has double uh, inscription. Maybe. Pins we wrote on the paper that we should check the inscriptions. And this has no inscription. seems to be a bit, I mean it's easy in a way that I mean we found the place easily it wasn't a problem at all but we need to find a tomb with some engravings on them the cemetery over there is closed there's a lock on the door and I'm not gonna jump maybe we could go there like the, the wall is lower there so we could see what's inside maybe 
<laughs> well, let's see, maybe we can find some more tombs. Maybe they came here and they wrote on the wall somewhere in the corner, like Princeton or Arvind. They expect us to find that small script somewhere in the corner. But we need to find out when British raided it as well. Yeah, we don't need to go further. There's a nice beach for one thing. There. It's a nice Something. beach. Really, really pretty. Yeah. Record you. We are about to solve the mystery. What's the specialty of this tomb? Or which one is the special one actually? We are about to unravel the mystery. The mystery of this cemetery. There's no mystery, I told you. That's the answer. Okay. What does the text say? What the folks? The text. I'm recording your successful attempt. No? <laughs> Is it zero? zero? Yuli made it! Bravo! Did it! Managed it! Yes! Strong woman! Now, take it backwards. But slowly, because it goes for forward first. Put the one. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Make a break, 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 break. Now go like this. Clutch. Hello madam, <laughs> welcome to my tuk-tuk. <laughs> in my tuk-tuk there are four exits. Two in the middle, two in the front. <laughs> in case of emergency, follow whatever line you can follow. I, pro <laughs> I suggest you to jump from the door. <laughs> Please fasten your seatbelt. That doesn't exist. <laughs> and pull up your blinds. Enjoy your ride. Thank you. Blinds are up too. <laughs> now let's go. Sit back and enjoy your flight with the rickshaw challenge.
the real countryside. Uh, what? Yeah, there is a nice one. Yeah, there is a fortress and there is police and stuff that there is not a lot of boy in there. This baby arrived to the destination, the first destination, Pondicherry. Uh, they are not visible <laughs> because that's the hero. You are the hero. Yeah, I, I am the I hero. I the real hero. So with this baby, we made like 160 kilometers today. Exactly. That was, yeah. I'm very proud like of you. I'm very uh, proud of you. Seriously, yeah, very, good job. It was like over seven hours, I think. Yeah. Look at the problems that if you take a photo, the colors are there, the lights are there, but you're a ghost. It's life, not change my skin color like my project. Sugarcane juice production. Okay. 